everybody, once again, we are back with another Ringside Corner Confessions edition here. And in this corner, we have my man, Trub Chef, in the building. He is a rapper. He is a producer. He is somebody you need to know. You need to be out there. If you're out there, definitely you know what, really quickly, I can give an introduction, but it's not going to do you justice. It's not going to be what you can make it. So really, really quickly, for the ring style audience out there, everybody viewing, give everybody a quick introduction of who you are, what you do, and how you got into this business. Yeah, how you doing, man? I'm Trub, aka the Iron Shelf, and uh, definitely man, you know, Memphis, Tennessee, but there for the long. Doing the thing, man, and uh, say getting into the business, man. You know, it's just really uh, just been a build up since I was a kid, man, and uh, building my work, working my way up through Memphis, and then going to L.A. and then. Uh, coming from LA, Texas, and then coming up here to Atlanta and building an empire my brother, man. So it's been a beautiful thing, man. And uh, that's how we rock. Okay, cool, yeah. LA. I'm gonna be in LA next month, actually. Good show, let's so, Okay, <laughs> okay, I ain't mad at that. So, you know, as far as rapping, you know, really quickly, you know, how did you, what did, you know, inspired you? What are some artists, some artists out there that inspired you to pick up a mic and, you know, start doing your thing? Uh, definitely, man. I probably. For sure, Drew was the one who made me want to rap. You know what I mean? He, he the one who uh, got me wanting to get into music as a kid. And then uh, from there, constantly growing, getting uh, getting better at it, you know, developing my skill. Uh, started to tap into like, you know, Ludacris pretty much opened my mind in terms of being creative with the flows. And then from there, uh, hearing Wayne with the metaphors and how he was able to transcend itself flow-wise, that's what took it over the top for me. And that's what became my idol uh, overall because I feel like he had a total package and that's what I want. So that's what I strive for. But okay. Lil Wayne, definitely. Lil Wayne. Okay, yeah, that's sure. actually an interesting segue. So definitely. you're in the music industry. You've been in the mm -hmm. music industry for a while doing your thing. You know, you know, you got artists out there like Lil Wayne and, you know, mm -hmm. Cash Money, Young Money, you know, the whole roster. You know, a lot of, a lot of things that we hear in hip hop mm -hmm. is, you know, relationships, dating, and of course, sex. You know how we relate to the women, how the women relate to us, so on and so forth. And you know, as an artist, you're out there uh, recording late nights, you're on the road, yeah. touring, so on and so forth. Yeah. How does the lifestyle of being a rapper affect dating in terms of you know something serious or casual, trust of women, mm. you know, your desire to settle down, your desire to remain single? How does being a rapper influence that? Um, it's tough, you know, because, you know, you, uh, depends on just how committed you are to your craft, you know, and when you're as committed as I am, uh, it can be tough, you know what I mean, you know, you make time for what you want to make time for, so, you mm. know, you, you, you can have what you want to have, but at the end of the day, you got to be on the same page with you and be willing to make the sacrifices. I think that's the biggest thing, is that you got to have somebody that's willing to make the sacrifices because they got to understand what, you know, what your goals are. And, how far you willing to take yourself to be great as you want to be in it? So it's definitely tough, man. But you can still you can still have it if you got a real ride or die with you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so for, you know, for me, I've always um, I've had that as like a yin and a yang because you know you have a, a lot of complications, especially when you're doing uh, doing music because you got to deal with you know long studio nights. You got to understand that you know uh, yeah. long nights on the road, uh, long show, you know the, the shows, you know long nights with shows. Uh, you got to understand there's a lot of women that, 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 you know, come with in terms of engagement that you have to, you know, you can't be a jerk. So you got to be able to balance that. So it's just those understandings. The trust has to be on a high level than the sacrifices. And uh, I think those are the biggest things. Okay. So, you know, with that being said, I mean, you hear, I mean, I've been a hip-hop head, you know, damn near my entire life. Yeah. Um, you know, regardless, if I don't care if it was... Snoop, Pop, Dre, or even now, you know, Future, mm -hmm. you know, Drake's, Lil Wayne's, like you said, yeah. you know, some things, you know, some things change, but then other things remain the same. Yeah. Um, you know, you hear rappers like, you know, you hear, you know, back in the day, what was it like, 2005? You have the mm -hmm. Mike Jones talking about back then, they want me now, hot they all want me. Mm -hmm. Do yeah. you have you noticed something like that? Like, have you noticed how has the attention changed now that you? Your name is out there. You're doing magazine covers, mm -hmm. more interviews. You're on the radio. You got songs out there. Have you seen a shift in how women interact with you yeah. then versus now? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, I saw, I saw 
Yeah, I see it. Uh, it's, it's heavy, man. It's a, it's a big change, you know what I mean? You uh, start to see that uh, those uh, those things where they start to, to claim you and, and, and di different things like that, show you so much love, want to be with you. Uh, so uh, you, you definitely see it's a big shift, man. It's a big change. and. You know, uh, you understand it come with it, but at, at the same time, it, it's, you know, you'd be grateful and appreciative of it, you know what I mean? Because of the fact that they, you know, admire you like that, but uh, at the same time, you got to stay focused. But, you know, like I said, I do see the big change with it. It is a big change once you start moving around, your, your videos, your name starts circulating, you, you know, you start doing a lot of more media. They start seeing it because, you, you know, every woman like a man is really going for something that's, mm -hmm. you know, that's really getting something done, believing themselves and it's a leader. So, you know, and those are the qualities that, you know, that I'm doing and that I'm bringing so, uh, in my grind. So that's exactly what, you know, it, it's a big thing, though, to see that, you know, when you see those women coming in like that, especially the DM start filling up. But yeah, it's man. cool though, you know what I mean? It's cool, you know, you you know, you understand it, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 the, the comments, you know, uh, you know, so when you see all that, when you get your number or there, whatever, you know, they, they, they start they, they come at you, you know, with that uh with that step forward first thing, you know, they step to you first type thing. So it's you really know what? Cool. That's that's really you know, yeah. it's funny you mention that because yeah. <laughs> you know, in ringside, you know, I talk about relationships literally every single day. Yeah. I'm interacting with, with men and women who you know, voice their opinions and thoughts yeah. and perspectives on relationships. And one resounding theme from a lot of women is they feel like, well, you know, men should make the first move first. Mm -hmm. You know, men should shoot their shot. It is desperate for a woman mm -hmm. to speak up. It's, def it's desperate for a woman to ask a man for some stuff like that. But I have heard men of means. I've heard men that got money. I've heard men that really got things going on. They say, no, when you get to a certain position, women approach you. Yeah, you know, women will, the women have no issue approaching the men, yeah. you know, that they got something going on for themselves, you know, or who they see as, you know, I, I hate to quote Kevin Sanders as a high value man, mm -hmm. you know, that's when, that's when, you know, some people feel like the roles become reversed and then the women yeah. become the ones to shoot their shot. So it's interesting you say that, I feel you. Um, I guess, that, you know, next thing I want to move forward is, you know, every man is going to be different in terms of what he's looking for in a woman, mm -hmm. um, his his readiness to either settle down or, you know, like I said earlier, you know, be a perpetual bachelor. For the man who is in this industry, who's a rapper, who may get to that point where he's looking for real love, mm -hmm. he's looking to settle down, you know, with one woman, but now he's dealing with the fandom, he's dealing with women who are just throwing themselves at him. You know, yeah. how do you make that distinction between a woman who wants you for who you are versus what you are. Uh, you know what? That's the tough. I think that's the toughest thing um, in the business. You know, me and my brother talk about it all the time. But I think that's the tough. I think that's the toughest thing sometimes to distinguish that because uh, some somebody that's really want to be with you for what you are. You know, they show you so much love. They say that you know say the right things, mm -hmm. uh, to, and you kind of you know you can buy into that really easily. But uh, I think it's more so the actions, um, and then who is kind of I go by kind of who wants to get to know you past the music like that's like that's cool to them but at the same time you know that's not what you could tell if that's what they approached you for or if it's just kind of like okay well you know I, I was interested in know about you know you on some real you know who you are mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying not trub lawrence johnson you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what i mean they want no lawns they want no trub you know what i mean so it's, it's kind of like it's a different and you could feel that you know it ain't really more so the talk of the um you know anything like that or a, 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 con a, inst a social media conversation you know what i mean it's like a real thing so i think you know it's hard to distinguish that but hopefully you get that before you become too powerful and whatever you're in it you know what i mean or whatever you're trying to do hopefully you can kind of find that because it's a little bit more easy or organic you know what i'm saying when you under come up more so than you know when you already up but uh it's a tough thing man i ain't gonna lie it's a tough that's one of the toughest things ever it's kind of the to um, distinguish that, you know, because uh, I think that's one of those things just got to be organic. It, mm -hmm. it, it got to be, you know what I'm saying? It might not be somebody that you think, you know, that you uh, met somebody like, you know, whether it's on social media or something. It might be somebody that uh, you might be at a photo shoot or at an event or somebody, and it might be, a, you know, it might be the pro a pro lady that's a promoter or something. She might, you drive just connected with her. Mm -hmm. You had no idea, and she, when she's already in the business, so she don't care about you being true or you being this or you being who you are. So it's like, you know, you might be able to 
it might be some spark there. You know, boy, is it right. somebody that's trying to holler you on Instagram or something or Facebook or something like that? Then it's like, you know, it could have an angle to that. You know, you kind of, you know, it's on you how you want to read it. But uh, it's definitely tough. But like I said, it just got to be something that's organic. And I don't think it's something you look for. I think it's just something that's going to happen to you. I mean, because yeah. you get, you know, a lot of people understand, a lot of people who pay attention to popular media, mm -hmm. TV, you know, you got entire franchises out there built on women who have made millions simply from being with the right man. Yeah. You know, women, you got women out here who can barely read and write. Yeah. But they they live in Calabasas or yeah. drive around in $200,000 vehicles yeah. because yeah. they got with the right man. Or they were in a, they positioned themselves to mm -hmm. meet, date, get pregnant by the right man who had money, who was, you know, already on top. And so, you know, I think the reality is you do have women out there who are, you know, these women are strategic. Yeah. You know, what may look like a chance encounter, what may look like just, you know, just happen to meet someone. You got women out here who are really plotting because, I mean, you got, you got, you know, Instagram models, you got women out there who nobody even heard of until mm -hmm. they start dating a, you know, a Kanye or a Future or yeah. whomever. I'm just using these rapping, you know, examples, nah, or but... Drake or whatever, you know, because once a woman is associated and tied with you, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if it's a relationship, baby mama, just a fling. Yeah, you know, once her name is out there, then damn, what happens next? Instagram followers go up, yeah. you know, more attention and boom, now she getting money just simply being around you. Yeah. So it is a reality and, and you know, as someone out there that you're encountering this, you know, I'm really, you know, that's the reason why I'm asking because it is something you gotta be mindful of because, yeah. you know, you can meet a young lady and yeah, she may provide you company and arm candy and even love, but what have you now given her? Now, she didn't move from the projects to the penthouse and traded in that to herself, you mm -hmm. know, to a, to a Range Rover or something like that. So, yeah. you know, what are some signs like other people, other guys out there who are watching right now who may be aspiring rappers, who may be mm -hmm. trying to get to where you are right now? What mm -hmm. would be some things that you would tell them to be on the lookout for as far as, you know, some of these groupies, some of these women who are, you know, just straight up targeting and who got a strategy? Like, what would you tell, you know, the next generation of rappers? Um, definitely focus on what you focus on your brand focus on what you're doing and uh it's for, and it's when you see that you know what i mean uh just be aware of it you know make yourself aware of it um as possible you know um always see what they you know what their interest is what their interest is with you you know what i mean like um pay attention to all the signs don't don't let nothing slip past you you know what i mean pay attention to all of it you know what I'm saying? Know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, get your get a clear understanding on what what it is they trying to say to you, or what you know what they what they trying to do, or how they trying to move. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, watch every dollar. You know what I'm saying? If you mm -hmm. if you spend it some, no matter what it is, watch how you spend it. Watch what you know. Watch what you're doing. You know what I mean? Don't just get infatuated with the uh, with the looks or whatever thing like that. You know what I mean? Because you know we know how fine. You know what I'm saying? I find it when women is, man, you know, so just kind of like pay attention to everything, see what's going on, you know what I mean, keep your head up, you know, keep your head on a swivel, and, uh, and along, if you focus on your work, and uh, you focus, you, and you reading all the signs and everything like that, you won't get, you won't fall for the okie doke, you know what I mean, and then you're going to be like, I, I, I really know what's going on, you know what I mean, because you're going right. to see, you gonna it's going to be so much, you know what I'm saying, so much coming at you, you know, 24-7, especially when you start moving and rolling. And when they know you got a foundation, you know what I'm saying? Like when they know you got a foundation, you got good people around you, like you got a good family, good head on your shoulders, you know what I'm saying? You dress nice, keep yourself, carry yourself with class, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the number one that's the number one thing that you know that they draw them in. So, you know, but you gotta be able to show that you smart too, that you ain't you ain't just got all that and you ain't got this. You know what I mean? You got all that but you got this too. You know what I'm saying? So you won't fall for that. And um, I think that's the that's the number one thing. You know what I'm saying? You you know, it, it's good to engage and and, uh, and show love and have fun and embrace a beautiful woman and show love. But like I said, just pay attention to the signs and you know you're gonna be you're gonna be alright as long as you do that. And if you can't, and, you know, uh, you know, if God bless that your your parents are alive and anything like that. You confused by anything? <laughs> you can always talk to your mom. You know what I mean? So. You know, if you're confused oh, about yeah. anything, mom know what's up, you know what I'm saying? If it's a bad read or something, you know, I do it, you know what I mean? I talk, I talk to mom dudes like, man, hey, you know, what you think? I can send her a picture, she's like, oh, go digger. 
Uh, no, nah, she just wanted that. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Like, man, man, she fine though. Nah, she wants your money. And then Lisa say, they come to find out about two weeks later or something, it'd be something that turned into some money stuff or they did something and she was 100% right. So, you know, if you can't turn to nobody, you can do that, you know what I'm saying, for advice. I mean, I mean, you're right, because yeah. uh, family, particularly mom, mm -hmm. and, you know, for those of you lucky enough to have your grandma around you, they can see the things that you can't because, yeah. I mean, as men, I mean, it's going to happen to anybody, but definitely it's me, you get infatuated. Yeah. You get infatuated, and, you know, what you may think is love can mm -hmm. really just be lust, infatuation. For sure. You're just enamored with this woman. Yeah. You know, she's saying the right things, she's yeah. looking good, she's making you look good in front of your boys, and the boys, you know, now they look at you like, damn, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you may be on top of the world, and you may be blind, you might be, be thinking maybe clouded, yeah. but you bring it to the cookout. You bring it to around family. They know. And, you know, grandma, mom, they can they can evaluate. They can smell it. They <laughs> know. They're like, oh, yeah. no, you know, she a yeah. real one? No, she just gold there because I mean, let's be honest. You know, you dripping in gold, so you're gonna attract some gold diggers. Exactly. You know, and that's you know we see that a lot because you do have the same men, um, and this is something that women told. Mm -hmm. This you know, the women is talking about how why is that men who constantly talk about gold dripping in gold mm -hmm. talking about money but then they complain about gold diggers they're looking yeah. at it like okay what do you expect because part of hip-hop is being braggadocious it yeah. is you know talking about your wealth you talk you know you're getting money mm -hmm. you know you're getting gold you're getting cars you're taking trips you don't talk about that exactly you know that that's just that's part of the culture it's part of the, the ongoing themes however how do you reconcile that with now you're tracking women who are plotting, planning, strategizing, mm -hmm. they're doing everything, they're thinking about everything they can to get what's in your pocket mm -hmm. in their pocket. You know what I mean? Yeah. So how do you how do you traverse those waters? Because I mean, I don't know, I mean, what would hip hop sound like if rappers yeah. weren't talking about you know, the excess and the yeah. stuff like that. So how do you, yeah. you know, it's like, how do you, you reconcile that? Because again, you know, all of my favorite hip hop artists talk about you yeah. know, getting money, yeah. you know, the money they see. Um, but then again, it's like more money, more problems. Yeah. And yeah. that can be a problem if you got a woman in your life yeah. who is slowly but surely, you know, she digging your bank accounts. Yeah. You know, she's getting that black card. You know, while you're in the studio, she's, you know, at Fifth Plaza, yeah. you know, yeah. breaking it up. So how do you kind of reconcile that as far as, you know, putting this out there? But mm -hmm. now you know, the more you talk about gold, the more you want to attract gold diggers. Uh, pretty much. Uh, you gotta, you got to be able to know uh, when you did those things that you address, especially when you talk about those things and your records and those things are part of your brand, you know, that's part of hip-hop culture. Um, it's really nothing you can do about that because that's just what people love to hear. But at the same time, for you, uh, you got to be, you got to know that, you got to know the this, this separation when you step out of that. Because for me, when you when I step out the booth, you know what I'm saying, and, and I'm not in my music element, you know what I'm saying, I am who I am. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that's Lawrence, that's the that M.O.M. So I know if you're gonna get to know me on that level, then you gotta, you gotta, you gotta know Lawrence. So I know uh, when it come down to that, it's kind of like, okay, um, everything that I just talked about in that booth, they go out the window if we're trying to get on some personal, you know, personal tip in terms of understanding that, you know, uh, because at the end of the day, you know, uh, what I, what I gotta do in terms of the hip hop persona and what I talk about in those records, that's how I feel and that's what go on for real. But I keep it 100 in terms of what I'm gonna do or what I plan on doing or how I'm doing it. And uh, but at the same time, uh, if we gonna go here, if I'm gonna go here with a woman, then she gotta know my real moral values in terms of the certain things that I would look for and what I expect. That's not on wax. That's not flashed. That's not that. That's not this. You gotta understand the true essence of what I really love on the real. You know what I'm saying? Personally, one on one. And then that right there is how I can determine in terms of that separation from what I, you know, what's talked about on this and. You know, and what's really going on, and I think you know all rappers should really do that because if you know if you know if it's a woman that's really 
trying to get with you for real. They gonna they dig deep enough. They'll see what's really going on for real. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. If they want hundred, you know, if they want hundred, then they gonna they gonna get to know you on that level, which is gonna be which ain't got nothing to do with what you just talked about on wax in terms of the flash and everything, because you know that's gonna come with it. But that's not what she values the most. And you will be able to see that when it get personal. You know what I'm saying? If it get close enough, you know what I mean? Because but you're gonna be able to read it right off the rim. But it's a hard, it's a it's a really, really hard thing because it's such a fine line. But um, like I said, at the end of the day, you've got to be able to um dip, differentiate too, you know, be able to tell what's what's different, you know what I mean? Especially when it go down that one on one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because again, you know, anybody who pays attention to hip hop and mm -hmm. The, the bullshit you see on social media because it's a lot of bullshit. Yeah. You know, it's like on these ongoing themes and it's almost like it's the point where it damn near reads like a playbook. Like you get a rapper, then you get some, you know, some baby mamas out of that, then you get some some bad divorces. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, one you know, yeah. one or two bad divorces or one or two man. sad women, then your money is just it's gone, yeah, it's gone. So you them. gotta be small with it, man. Right. You know, with the, all yeah, of you it. gotta be intelligent because I mean again, yeah. you know, as an artist particularly, you know, you wanna be successful and you want your trajectory to continue going up. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta focus on your craft. You gotta focus on what's important, which is putting out good quality music. For sure. That's you know, the number that's, one thing. That's paramount. That should yeah. be the alpha and omega. You know, however, you know, there will be those distractions out there. Those distractions can look pretty. You know, those distractions got big titties, big asses, and mm -hmm. long weaves. And, you know, what a lot of men, I mean, you you, you don't notice. You know, we all don't notice, we all don't yeah. Look, yeah. You know, and it's like how to, you know, stay focused. But, I mean, let's be honest, as a man, you still gonna want that company. Yeah. You know, regardless if you want committed, settle down company, or you want company for one night. And it's like, how do you um, walk that line of, you know, indulging in feelings of wanting love or wanting sex, but not compromising, you know, what you're really here for, which is the music. And, you know, that's really, you know, the, the nature of it, because again, some rappers are successful at it, mm. then the ones that aren't, we see about it on social media, or we see about it on you know media takeout or world mm -hmm. star or shade room or stuff like that mm -hmm. um and so any parting words or any other advice you know that you haven't talked about that you want to you want to leave with because again these are things are ongoing yeah your, yeah 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 your career yeah. is climbing and i know it's only going to get better and higher right, thank you i appreciate it and sure. with that said you know you're going to get Mm -hmm. More women, there's gonna be more panties on your car, more panties <laughs> thrown at you, yeah. more groupies, yeah. the groupies, the gold diggers, sure. the every, everybody. So moving forward, what will be some some last party words, mm -hmm. you know, that maybe you haven't talked about yet or you wanna explain more in detail as far as how to navigate these waters of hip hop, mm -hmm. staying focused yep. and avoiding these dating, sexual, baby mom pitfalls. Yeah, you uh, you pretty much uh, you know if you keep like I said you keep your mind on uh, if you lay out your priorities you got your priorities you prioritize um, everything that you want to accomplish um, you know and your pursuit uh, of what you're doing um, and then I think if you like I said just having that mentality mm -hmm. um, and uh, having a good close relationship with God to make some good decisions in terms of uh, the roles and the things you do. And then, like I said, in your pursuit and uh, and going at it, as long as you don't lose focus on the on the goal in mind, you got this set goal for yourself, and um, you can knock down if, if you if you you know going at it with these girls, you have said with them doing that, doing that, you know what I'm saying, tricking off a little bit, doing this, doing that, you know what I'm saying. As long as you're able to keep your mind focused on the goal at hand and don't get caught up in nothing stupid, knowing who you're dealing with 24/7, um, being smart about it, just. Not just because you can't just get involved with anybody when you coming up because you can get set up, you can get this, anything can happen. You know, um, it's more of a dangerous game with, uh, with a lot of women when you start dealing with a lot of women when you want to come up because, you know, it's just, like I said, you can get set up, you can get, I got set up, set up and robbed by somebody I know is the same great, you feel me? So yeah. it's like, you can get set up, you know what I'm saying, anytime. So it's like, or, or anything can happen. So you got to pretty, pretty much know who you're dealing with. Uh, 24 seven on the come up and then as you uh as you're doing that you know what I mean as long as you keep the goal at hand the goal in mind 
um, you're going to be fine. You know what I'm saying? And, and if you feel lost or something, talk to God, man. Talk to your team. Talk to your fam. Mm-hmm. You know, and then um, I, I feel like if you got good people around you, they're going to always keep you on the straight and narrow, um, not to kind of wear, veer off and stuff like that. Because you, is this life, you're going to run and you're going to run into situations with women. You're going to run into things that's going to happen um, in terms of, you know, you know, y'all might date for a minute and it might have a falling out. And, you know, you, you move on, you know what I'm saying? Everything it was peaceful, everything cool, uh, you did everything right, and then you, you move forward, you know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. um, but at the end of the day, even through all of that, as long as you keep the goal in mind, you're going to be straight. Because, like I said, it's tough, and it's going to get tougher as you're coming up because, you know, you're going to be able to it's, – it's like just the, the mass is more women that come in, the, the caliber, you know what I'm saying, of women you start to attract, um, the amount of power you can have to be able to – uh, show a fine woman that you probably could pull when you was with this kind of bank, you know what I mean? Like the kind of things you could do uh, is just on a whole different level. But like I said, you got to still at the end of the day, even doing it, you got to go back and still live by those moral principles that uh, that you started from when before you got there mm-hmm. to know, OK, I, even though I'm here, I can still read this. I know that just because I'm here and I, my bank look like this, you know, I still know, I still can recognize if she really rocking with me or if she ain't. If this is gonna be a sex thing or they're gonna be a dating thing, I still can recognize what it is. If it's gonna be a sex thing, I'm gonna, we're gonna di- get it in, do our thing, but then we're gonna yeah, go on peaceful. Up. We're gonna wrap it up because I gotta, you know, wrap it up. You feel me? <laughs> we gotta, yeah. gotta wrap it up. Don't 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 do don't do the kid thing. You know what I'm saying for sure. Don't do that kid thing until you know what's really going on. You know what I mean, don't even think about it. Like you know what I'm saying, just keep it there. And then, like I said, keep that goal in mind and keep going, and you're gonna be you're gonna be a hundred percent fine in it. You know what I mean? And that's the biggest thing is to keep that keep uh, every time, no matter what you're doing, to keep the goal in mind on what you focus on. You know what I mean? No matter how many women you're dealing with, no matter how many, you know what I'm saying? You you not you you having sex with you doing this doing that. As long as you keep that goal in mind, you're gonna you're gonna be fine. You know what I mean? And uh, and move smart. Definitely wrap it up because um, sure. I don't tell anybody, you know, you, yeah, yeah. if you know what it means and a woman just man. just pop up and say she's later pregnant, like, but that's man, you know, man, yeah, exactly, that's exactly, test. exactly. I've been there before too, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you know, you know, you, you gonna get them plan B, you gonna get you gonna get the test, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Do what you gotta do, and uh, yeah. just, just, just make sure you ain't you ain't get caught up in the okie doke. Yeah, and uh, you're going to be straight because it's easy. It's easy, man. They fine, bro. They fine. So, I, mean, yeah, I mean, again, just yeah. some, of the, some of these professional yeah. women, yeah. these women are living real life. Yeah. Child, some of these child support papers, I'm like, man, bro. They might live off forever, man. You know what I'm saying? They live off forever. So, man, you got to be smart. You got to be smart and, uh, you know, just don't fall for anything. Don't don't be so infatuated because they, they can tell you what they want to hear because they know what they're trying to get up out of you. So you got yeah, uh, yeah. you to gotta, you gotta be smart about it, you know what I'm saying? Hear it, know what's up, just know, know what it is, recognize what it is. And um, and if you do that, man, you're going to be 100% okay no matter what goes down, you know what I mean? And then, like, understand who it is you're dealing with, especially as you get more popular because you just don't, you know what I'm saying, you just can't deal with anybody when you – when you get there, like I know at this point, I can't just deal with anybody because I already know what's going, on. you know what can easily happen. You know what I mean? Especially right. somebody just trying to, you know, if I'm like, and she fine, like she give me all kind of play. Man, I gotta see what's up because I don't know what's up. You know, what I mean? like I don't know what's up. Yeah, 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 ago. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And my folks know how I am about women. I'm, I, I be trying to knock everything off sometimes. <laughs> It yeah. be like yeah, I be like I gotta know, I gotta know. So you know that's that's the biggest thing. But I, I got a goal in mind, man. I I be so focused on. It's like I'm I'm locked in. So um, I I really just I don't have be having a lot of time to entertain it. But I I know what's going on if if I did. But like I said, I used to be like that. You know, I used to be like man, just, like I said, knocking off everything. But me, I'm now I'm just so focused. And uh, I know what I'm dealing with. So I don't be dealing with I don't be dealing with a whole lot of women. I know who I'm dealing with, and um and I'm good. Okay, last question because you, you brought up this word and I'm like, it just, it made me think. I really want to get your thoughts on this before mm-hmm. we wrap up and I promise this will be the last question. Good, um, now you go. Uh, in my group in Ringside, shout out to everybody out there in Ringside. If yeah. you're watching this, uh, make sure you find my private Facebook group out there, Ringside LLC. Uh, yeah. Click to join and either myself or the admins will, um, you know, approve your, your request. And if you're out there, find us on the website. Um, ringsidethebase.com go ahead and uh, find us and yeah stay tuned really quickly because you brought this word up and this mm-hmm. is a hot topic 
last week with a lot of women. And these women were heated about this. Yeah. But you just said you you said the magic words. I'm gonna bring this up. Is it still tricking if you got it, or does it matter, or what is the distinction between between tricking and providing? Because you know you go meet those women out there. Mm -hmm. You know you meet the women out there who may be interested in dating you, but mm. they may come at you, they may be fine, they may, mm. you know, physically have it going on, but they may not have a pot to piss in. Yeah. And so it could be, well, you know, you the rapper, you're supposed to provide for me, you're supposed mm. to provide, you know, pay for my car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not just any car, it can't be no Corolla, no Camry, but, you know, I need something, mm. no stats. So what is that distinction, and how do you make a distinction between I'm providing for my woman I love, or I'm just tricking. Uh, I go by who the type of what type of woman I'm dealing with. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's kind of like uh, I feel like it's tricking if you know what she really what she want from you. Like, if it's just on some, you could tell you could you should better pick out a hustler. You gotta better pick out a hustler. So you you kind of know it's like if you could tell she's just trying to uh, you know get with, every time she's just trying to do something that got something involved with money twenty four seven. Then I feel like you know you, you kind of tricking you know what I mean because you like okay everything everything we doing it got it's somewhere some money being spent tied into it it ain't nothing quality you know what I mean and then uh, when you say providing you know what I mean it's kind of like okay uh, we we you know I understand what type of woman she is you know she grateful you know appreciative of the small things mm -hmm. it ain't really everything ain't always tied to some 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 money stuff it's you know. Because um, and then make you want to do it, and, and uh, you want to look out, you want to provide, you want to help, because you know what hard it. You kind of already got a feel for it. You've had some conversations that uh, that are very deep, so you just the connection is there. And then uh, when you do something, you know what I'm saying she's so appreciative. She be want to do stuff for you too, mm -hmm. and you be like you ain't even ask for it. It's like man, you know I do, you know I'm gonna do it for you too. It's, uh, you know it's like it ain't we ain't got no receipts on each other. It's just all it's just all 100. You know what I'm saying, but. Uh, if somebody just constantly, you know what I'm saying, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it 24-7, uh, but, I, you know, they ain't really got nothing else to offer, and it's like, okay, it's just that 24-7, then I, and you know what it is, and then you really getting them vibes, like, man, I can't really see no relationship with this. I can't really see no relationship with her. Now, I ain't thinking about the money. You just talking about, like, on a connection level, like, I don't know. It don't seem like it can be a relationship. Then I, I feel like, okay, man, you, you kind of you, you tricking, you know what I mean? Because you like, all right, I'm just spending money, 24/7. I'm spending money 24/7. Like she let me, you know, we we having our sex, we doing our thing, but I'm spending money like all like, heavy money. I'm paying for everything. I'm really paying for it because I'm paying for everything. But on the uh, in terms of providing, it's like, okay, we we got a connection. This. That's deep and personal, like you like the homie, you know what I mean? You like the homie, like we almost can play video games together type stuff. So it's like, you know, that right there, you like, man, that's providing, you know what I'm saying? And she might call you, hey, I'm gonna bring you something to eat. It could be a sandwich from McDonald's or something, but it's just something small like that. You like, man, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like something, it's like, man, okay, you know, you you, you ain't valuing what I do 24 7, like, cause you like, man, I got my own, I can hold my own, I'm independent too. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, I ain't, I ain't gonna take advantage cause you, Trub or you this and that like I'm I'm really gonna I'm I'm really rocking with you because I, I really dig it you know what I'm saying so that's when you know like okay man I feel like I want to provide do some do some real things you know what I'm saying and they can get some real money you know what I mean like mm -hmm. they can get some real money spent on you know what I mean but the tricky thing you can tell you know what I'm saying because it's like tw it's just a 24 seven thing all day you know you talk to them you know let's go you hear let's go do this you buy me this can you loan me this I'm short on this. You know, like you know, it's like damn, twenty four seven. I'm spending. Okay, well, what you, what you, what you mad for? Like, oh every man, time like, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, time. You know, you talk to man. I lost a hundred dollars at the casino. Man, I needed my light deal, eighty nine dollars, and, and you just took it out yesterday. Spent like three, four hundred. You know what I'm saying? And then she just, and then, but she might not really need that because they can tell you whatever you want to hear. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To get what you're trying to get, so she might even need it. And then you like, okay. Let me go and spend this. You know what I'm saying? You know you got it. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't nothing to you. $100 ain't nothing. So it's like, all right, I'm going to do that. And then the, the next time you want to go out Wednesday, all right, let's go out Wednesday. Uh, what you doing Saturday? I want to uh, meet me at this store. You know what I'm saying? All right, you want to meet at the store? You meet at the store. Man, I'm trying to buy this, that, this, and that, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? So you got it. It's, you ain't stressing about it. You ain't tripping about it. But at the same time, it's like, what we connecting that past mm -hmm. that? You know what I mean? So you look up, you're like, dang. 
looking at the account, you like, man, I just, I'm, just, I'm just spending money. I'm just tricking. Yeah, it's just add up. I'm just tricking. You know what I'm saying? I'm just tricking. We ain't connecting on nothing. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got no moonlight dentals. But we talking about something or she find out what yeah, I got going on. I got, got yeah, 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 exactly. I got something personal going on. I might be stressing about something. You ain't trying to check on me and talk to me. Like, we ain't talking about nothing. Like, so it's like, it's just that. I'm just spending money. That's that's that trick. I mean, like, like you said, I mean, yeah. for where you are, $100 may not be much. Yeah. But over time, adding up. Man, he's adding up. Dollars, you know, and you, adding you spending, up. you start starting to be looking up, you spending bands. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And you're like, okay, you know, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm tricking, I'm tricking. Fellas out there, don't yeah. matter if you're a rapper, it don't matter, matter. if you're a school teacher, a stock yeah. broker, a doctor, you know, think with the big head, not with the little head. For sure. Uh, sometimes making decisions with the little head um, Man. can wind in the world of shit. Man, I swear. Um, uh, before we head out, let mm -hmm. everybody know where they can find you, yep. give them a website, give them your social media if they want to find the music, you know, how can they look you up? Hey man, find me everywhere at Trub Shelf. That's at T R U B C H E F, one word, no space. Uh, that's Trub Shelf. And uh, you can find me everywhere on my website. This dropping this week. You know, we're launching this week, TrubShelf.com, www.trubshelf.com, man. And go in there. It's a one stop shop. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Find me nowhere else from there. Once you get on their website, you can. Uh, we're going to set it where you sign up for free. Just put in your email, you ain't charged nothing. Go in there, you better get all, you know, everything exclusive for me mm -hmm. and you'll be able to know everything before anybody else in the world know and then uh we're gonna build this family together but that's what you can do it find me everywhere at Trump show all right yes sir that's what i'm digging all right everybody <laughs> out there this has been another ringside edition of corner confessions this is troy vaughn also known as trey amazing and we are out thanks yeah. so much